What's going on guys, Pokemon Card Collector here and welcome back to another video. Today we're playing more Pokemon PTCGO. We'll be playing the Garchomp Buzzle deck. As I mentioned in my previous video, we'll be playing this deck until we lose. Uh, so we are on a five win streak, I believe, with the Garchomp Buzzle deck, which is absolutely amazing. So let's see if we can do a few more wins today. Um, but without any further ado, let's crack into today's video. And we are back guys. So we are versing a very normal deck. She has the advantages game but hopefully we can pull off it so it says a six win streak so i must have done a win beforehand before i started recording my ptcgo because we've only played five uh on video for you guys now and i don't really do any off camera but let's see okay that's not a bad hand so we are going to play a lot of sand tree there so did she win the coin flip and chose me oh she must have i wasn't paying attention so i have no more basic pokemon so we are going to pass she's selecting the starting pokemon so the previous PTCG episode of this was recorded on the same day, but it was such a good battle we had. Oh, that deck will versing was mad. And I'm so happy we pulled off a win. I really thought we were going to lose that one and we we're going to have to uh, come up with a new deck for the Pokemon PTCGOs, but we are still going, which is absolutely crazy. But it looks like she's playing a, probably a Garvador deck, I would believe. But we will play Howl here, the Howl full up, beautiful card. Uh, we play a lot on Sand Street. Now, I'm not going to do any of my energies. We're just going to use Fury Stripes. Hopefully, you get a few heads, one head, and not. so we do 10 damage to the Rolt, which is okay, just chipping away damage too. We can set up the Buzzwalls or the Garchomp. So, I need to give one a goodbye to be able to play this Garchomp. So, any Howls, any Cynthia's, anything like that would be cool to be able to get. So they're playing the Octillery, I assume it's the Octillery, there's an Octillery with certain ability, I don't remember but I know it's been played with in the TCG pretty frequently. But, Cutie Fly, okay, and then she, I'm probably guessing a Garvador GX from Burning Shadows, that's going to be my guess for this one. What's she going to do? Alright, she obviously is going to use Draining Kiss, so that does 10 damage and heals 10 damage off the rolls there, but let's see if we can get a buzz wall. Okay, we don't get a buzz wall. We can't play Eversoda, I'm not going to play any of the energies. We are going to play Big Malasada, so I'm just... Uh, recording and my mic is working as well. So we're going to play Big Mile Side and we're just going to use a few swipes, hopefully for 30, hopefully for 10. <laughs> so we use that, uh, still chip away 10 hull. So we're just both trying to set up currently. I can't remember what Kitty Files rolls into, and it's driving me crazy. Sunday Moon is a very fun game. I was just not watching Moon that series. It's just fun. I love the Alolan region. It's just some Pokemon I don't always remember. So she does it. 10 damage to me. Heals 10 damage off there. I feel like it's going to be back and forth to I set up a Pokemon. Wow, it's killing me with these energies. But we're just going to use Fury Swipes again. We can't do anything with these energies. There's no point attaching them to these Pokemon. The Alolan Sand True. There's no point because their attacks don't require energies. That is why I'm being able to use them now. And they only have Fury Swipes. So she plays an Ultra Ball, she discards two cards from her hand to draw four, was it? Oh no, if you do search for a Pokemon, reveal and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. So I've got two more videos to record after this, I have a Let's Play as well as the next Pokemon Platinum Let's Play that I will be doing, no, sorry, that will be coming out on Monday. I've just, as I mentioned in the previous Pokemon PTCGO, this one I'm recording now, even though I'm recording it on Thursday, it will be going up on Saturday. I've just got work Saturday, so I can't actually record it then. So she is playing a Sylveon as well. I really should I should have expected that. So hopefully we can get a buzz wall in there. Oh, she just plays a Sylveon straight up. A Sylveon. What's the magical ribbon do? Search your deck for up to three cards and put them onto, onto your hand. And then shuffle them deck. Them deck. Wow. Shuffle your deck. Okay, so she draws the three cards there, shuffles the deck there. We are getting nothing, damn. Uh, this may be a loss unless we can pull off getting a Buzzwall GX, would be amazing to be able to pull right now. <sighs> we can't do anything other than Fury Swipes. Hopefully by the time this video goes up on Saturday, my tripod, uh, no sorry, not my tripod, my playmat, as well as some of the cards I've arrived have ordered, which I'm very excited to get. My tripod did arrive on 
Wednesday. Oh, it's such a cool travel. I've been testing it out a bit. It's a little bit annoying to set up, but I managed to set up and I did a few practice recordings and it looks pretty good for that. But this looks like it may be our first loss and we can, unless we can pull a buzz wall out of it, and we may be losing this one. Oh, so she plays the auxiliary. Was this the auxiliary I was talking about? Yeah. So once you return, you may discard. You must draw. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> once during your turn, you may draw five cards until you have five cards in your hand. So that's why they play that auxiliary. See, Governor GX from Burning Shadows? I called it. She's really setting this up. Whoa. I keep saying she because of the avatar, but I don't know. Oh, sorry. Really hope we can win this one. Please. So she's playing the Magical Ribbon, she's going to draw three cards into her hand. I believe you have to shuffle your deck after that as well. But we have a good hand. Like, we got the Strong Energy, we got four Fighting Energy, Double Colors, two Pokemon Center Ladies, Episode, and a Guard Chomp. We can't play anything because none of basic Pokemon. Come on, pull. Yes! Okay, there we are. So we're going to play the Buzzwell here. We're going to play a Strong Energy on the Buzzwell as well. We are going to play Fury Swipes, hopefully for 30, hopefully for 10. No damage at all, that is okay. But at the time of recording, which is, as I mentioned today, which is Thursday for me, even though this will be going up on Saturday, so it's a little bit confusing. I just got to record videos in advance. Uh, quite a few today, actually. I've got to record two more after this. I believe I mentioned that earlier, but I am feeling a little bit under the weather today, but I still want to record a video and upload it for you guys, which is on the time of recording this would be Pokemon PTCGO which will be uploaded on when, uh, Thursday, the 21st of June uh, within Australia. But, that, oh, I'm not feeling good about this deck. So if we lose, we will switch up decks. I have a few pre-made decks we could use as well. But the Garchomp Buzzwall deck has put us on a pretty good one. Huh? You should, wow. This deck's actually pretty good. But the, sorry, the Garchomp Buzzle deck, as I was saying, has won us quite a few games. So we're on a, uh, we have won five games recorded. I've won one game before that, so we're on a six win streak. This may be the end of us, though. Oh, I'm not sure. So we play a Guzma. We oh, oh, okay. That knocks. Okay. Oh, what are we gonna get? Get a Buzzle. Oh. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna play Pokey Santa Lady. Pokey Santa Lady. There, we're gonna heal 60 damage off that Buzz Wall. We're gonna play a Fighting Energy. Now I can only swing around currently. Uh, oh sorry, Sledgehammer. But that does 50 damage, so that's okay. Now Choice Band is annoying because that does 30 damage, to, 30 extra damage to my Pokemon EX or GX Pokemon. I play that one in my current deck in real life. There, gotcha Buzz Wall deck I've made. So, first and second, I believe that's going to rotation soon out, so that's why Cynthia is coming, and that's why Cynthia is really efficient within, especially in the, especially in the uh, Buzzwall, uh, sorry, in Garchomp decks currently, because if you play Cynthia and you've used the Buzzwall from Ultra Prism or Forbidden Light, Royal Blades does 100 more damage, so 200 damage, if Cynthia is played during the same turn that you attack. So my nose is a little bit blocked, so it's a little bit hard to talk, but I am still trying my best here. Hopefully the content is still good and you guys still enjoy it watching it. Got a bit of editing and all that fun stuff to do today, but I really do enjoy it. Plays Octillery there. Sorry if there's a little bit of background noise, I apologize for that. So you're either going to use Secret what? Oh, okay. That's knocked me out. Oh. Yeah, it looks like this one's going to be a loss. So we are going to play this alone Sandra again. Unless we can get a, a goodbye, that would be cool to get. Oh no, or another guard chomp. I don't think this is doing anything. I just want to get rid of cards in my head. Oh, it's right there. So the next card we will pull is a guard chomp. No, oh, I shouldn't have played that. Shouldn't have played that. So we're just going to use Fury Swipes on that. There's really no point for her setting up at this point. She should just knock me out and get it over and done with. I've got no Pokemon can play. If she knocks out these centuries, she automatically wins. But I just rolled. So, no, sorry, Curlia. So she's setting up probably either a Gallade or a Garbodor again. She attacks a Floatstone, was it? Or did I miss? Yeah, Floatstone. 
to the Gallade. She's got Silver on GX powered up as well. She draws a hand with the Sycamore. I have to redraw my hand. Hopefully we can get something good. Great ball house in there. Oh, long grammar. That's okay. Uh, so I'm going to play a great ball. If we don't get anything good from the great ball, I will play. Sorry guys, I'll be right back. And I'm back. Uh, sorry about that. So we did in fact lose that game. So I will put that clip in. I'll just fast forward it so you can see that we did actually lose. So as I mentioned, it is time to switch up our deck. So at Garchomp, Boswell deck won five out of snow. I think it won five out of six games, which is pretty good. So we're going to play a Greninja Buzzle deck now. So we'll find the game and this will be our last game for today's video. We are back guys, so we are versus a water deck, so we have the advantage this time, which is pretty good, that is a long nine tail deck. So uh, we are playing a, a, um, no Garchomp Buzzle, we are playing a Greninja Buzzle now. So yes, we would like to go first. Uh, so as I mentioned, I would be switching up my deck, I haven't actually never played this deck, so we are going to see how we can go. We are going to play a long sand true here. Uh, I've never played this deck before, so this is going to be a little bit new for me. Hopefully we can pull off a few wins. So our Gudrun Buzzle deck won five games. So hopefully this one can pull off a few for us as well and we'll be in the lead. So we have a Lucario Rachu as well, which is my very first deck I made on PTCGO. It really wasn't that good, but I still enjoyed playing. I won a few. A lot of Volibix Publio, so we are going to attach the energy there. We are going to play Cynthia and we're going to draw six new cards. Uh, we get a sand true. Yep, that's actually pretty good. We'll play the alarm sand true there We will play a great ball to look at the seven cards on my deck. We will pull out a Froki here Hopefully set up a uh, Greninja here. So we will bench the Froki as well and I will skip and that is my turn done so I, I'm kind of liking the feel of this deck, it is going pretty well. I'm sorry about the car I took, I just had to help my mum move some stuff. But we are back, so I will, like as I mentioned, I will fast forward the clip of us losing that game so you guys can see we'll lose, there will be no audio because I'll have to cut that. Uh, but then we are back with this game here. So a long nine tails holographic from Burning Shadows as well as a gold duck from Sun and Moon base set. So she's setting up a that sorry <clears throat> she's setting up that deck. We are going to play the Laurel and Sand Slash here. Wow. We are going to play an energy on Buzzwell here. We are gonna draw three cards here. We get an Eversoda, we are going to play Eversoda, get a Frogadier. Yep, we'll get a Frogadier here, we'll play the Frogadier, put cut on there, sorry if you hear that vacuuming guys. But we will Fury Swipes, the Alolan Vulpix, Exernius coin, and we do 10 damage to that Alolan Vulpix. So that's our turn done, they pass it on. What's he going to do? So he sent up probably a Poliwhirl, no, whoa, Alolan Nantau's hollow straight away. Sets up a Golduck as well, so playing Primarina here and Poly Wrath there as well. Uh, maybe even Politoed from, uh, it was from, I think it was Sun and Moon Base, I'm not too sure, but she's setting up that. We will play again a Fighting Energy on this Buzzwall. We will use Fury Swipes on the Alola Nine Tails. So I've set up the Buzzwall now, so I'm going to focus on setting up the Frogadier and the Alola Sand Slash. See if we can, hopefully, we can pull off a win on this very first game of our deck so all right we pulled off a win okay so they must have conceded to that so that is our very first win with the um greninja buzzwall deck i don't really know too much about this deck i haven't played it before it is my deck so i'm going to probably play a little bit around with it off camera i uh, just not actually play a game i will give you actually completely fault we will give you guys a quick rundown of the actual deck and then i will sum up the video so I forgot I did this with the Garchomp Buzzwall deck, so we will go deck manager and we will look at the Greninja Buzzwall deck and I'll show you what I'm currently running within this deck. So let's have a quick look. So we're playing a Froakie, Fogarty and Greninja GX. We're playing four Alolan Sand Shrews with one Alolan Sand Slash here. 
plus two more Alolan Sand Slashes here, and a reverse Alolan Sand Slash. We're playing a Buzzworld GX and three Buzzworld regular rares. We are from Forbidden Light. We play one Aqua Patch, we play two Eversurders, we play two Great Balls, we play one Lily as well, and one more here. We play three Hells, one Crush Awake, one Lorna, a reverse Lily, a, a Hala, a reverse Guzma, four Cynthia's. We also play one Hell, three dub four double colors energies, ten fighting energies, and ten warning energies using the Exernius coin as well. So let me hit up the home screen at home screen and I will finish up this video. So I hope you guys did enjoy today's video of Pokemon PTCGO. So if it was a little bit slow, it wasn't as fun as they generally are. I am feeling a little bit sick, so I apologize for my voice if it sounds a bit muffled. But as I mentioned, I hope you guys do enjoy this video and until next time, keep on collecting.